What's up YouTube? It's your boy, the Sneaker Knocker. The one and only. Jezebel kicks in the power on YouTube and you can refer to me as the Sneaker Judge. Now before we get into today's thumbnail and title of the video, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment down below, and if you do happen to subscribe, Tap and slap that notification bell because you will be notified whenever I drop and upload new content. And now let's just get into the video. But before we get into the video and I go and unpackage this item that I have, I'm going to give you guys a background story of how I was able to get it for free. This hoodie is worth $100, but I happen to not have to pay anything because of the situation that happened. Now, this happens to be somebody who I once knew. They don't know me, but I once knew them when I was coming up and I had recently moved to New Jersey. Anyone in New Jersey at that. This artist by the name of Wretch, you might have seen him in a famous video that went viral when he was letting off shots in an alley in Cali. And since then, he has been a hot boy, wild head. But much love and respect to whatever he's doing. I hope he prospers in life and I just wish him the best. And actually hopes that he keeps himself safe because for the most part, a lot of things that he displays on his Instagram or his social media platform doesn't quite look safe. And I just pray for the man and wish him the best. Hopefully he keeps his eyes open and be aware of his surroundings because the life that he's living right now, it ain't too promising. But enough of that, I know this person by the name of Retro, once when he was living in Hackensack, New Jersey, he would come visit some of his friends in Inglewood, New Jersey. I know him by the name of Retro, but his name is now Wretch, and he has totally changed. And he has his clothing line by the name of Fast Money. It operates out of Nutley, New Jersey, and they was they was like slacking on the shipment. So it was a lot of complaints on the Instagram site of people like myself who wanted to support because we are actually fans of the music, fans of the person himself, Retro, Wretch, and you know. They was not responding, so it became like, it became real, real, real crazy that they wasn't responding in the time frame of a month after you done purchased your order, and people were in the comments, I myself was in the comments, trying to get some, some info on what's going on with my order. So after it hit a month and I didn't get no response from the info that you um, email, the support info email address. It, it was just like I had to go and get my money back and thank God I purchased through PayPal using my debit or credit card I'm not sure which one I used but it was through PayPal and I called up PayPal I filed the claim and like a week or so I, I was refunding my money back because upon doing business PayPal reached out to the seller the seller didn't contact PayPal so automatically in cases like that your bank or PayPal will automatically sell with you which is why I was able to get it for free now I don't know if they noticed that I did a chargeback and still wanted to keep their word due to poor services and communication that they had a lot of people waiting for the orders not only myself but a lot of other people and this is like a trend that most people experience when they order from fastmoney.com so I don't know if they noticed that I did a chargeback and still decided to send me the, the item that I purchased, which is much love and respect for that, or they just happened to not be too in tune with their emails or what's going on with their account because it took damn near three months for me to get this. I ordered this in the end of December. At the end of December, I ordered this hoodie and I just got it a week or so ago. So that's damn near three months, and I don't know... What was the reason for me still receiving a hoodie after I didn't purchase it, did the charge back and got my money back, but I'm still grateful and thankful that I was able to get this hoodie. So without all of the bashing, I'm really not trying to bash this person. I'm just trying to let you people know how I was able to get this dope hoodie for zero dollars, but it's worth a hundred dollars. And I myself actually wanted to purchase it for what it was worth. Because it actually is a dope hoodie and it goes with a pair of sneakers that I have in my collection. And enough of all of that. We're just going to get right into it. So you guys have it.
This is the person that I'm talking about. Retro himself. Retch. Signed by him. And he always drinking that dirty muddy water. And smoking on a blunt. This is the artist who I purchased from. Retro. Fastmoney.com. And this is dope. You know, I ain't going to be hanging this up. <laughs> nowhere. But I still appreciate the fact that I was still able to get my hoodie. And as you guys can see, this hoodie is dope. I'm just going to pop it open. This dope. This, this hoodie is dope. Like, it's actually worth my $100. It's worth my $100 because it's different. Now, everybody likes Fanta sodas, but it says Fast Money, which was stood out to me. And the reason why I brought these for a pair of sneaks that I had, if anybody can look at it, it's like a little lighter yellow. But for me, this goes with those Michigan 12s. Michigan 12s that I recently released not too long ago. When I first saw this, I automatically thought about those Michigan 12s, and I was like, you know what, I have to get this. Got a little lint and stuff on it, but for the most part, this is a dope hoodie. Let me see if it fits. This is a dope hoodie. But hey, it's a dope hoodie with a stain on it. <laughs> but for the most part, it's still a dope hoodie. You know, it was free, so I ain't going to complain that much. But, hey, it's a dope hoodie. I don't know what's this on my face. Damn. Dope hoodie got strings coming coming out of it. But, moving on to the next item that I purchased. But before I move on to the next item, I want to tell you guys about Soul Boy. I wanted to do this as a collective video with the hoodies that I purchased. I ordered, I ordered a lime green Soul Boy hoodie for the malls that I'm expecting to get soon. But when, when you order from Soul Boy, comment down below if you experience with this, this with Soul Boy. You order your hoodie, but when you get your money, it takes like a month for you to get your order because they say that when you make the purchase, it's a process that goes on that's about 7 to 10 days to where it's a pre-order. And for me, pre-ordering is sort of like a scam because it's deceiving the consumer when they go to the website. And they purchase a, a, a item and they expect to get it within a reasonable time frame. There's no disclaimer that says when you purchase from our site, your order will take 7 to 10 business days of processing. Which means they're making an item as they get your money. And then it takes an extra couple days to get shipped to you. Now I ordered this on, January, or on February 5th, I believe. Or March 5th, I believe. I ordered this item March 5th. And I'm not expecting to get it until the beginning of April. I last spoke with them and they said, um, you should get a tracking number before March 25th or after. So that means I'm not going to be getting my item until the first week of April, if that's even the case. But just beware when you go to soulboy.com that you're not going to get your item as soon as you would hope. Because it's a processing that takes place where they take your money as a pre-order sort of um, way of collecting the payment. And then... They're hand making it as they get your money. So it's really a pre-ordering scam if you ask me. Next up, no scams involved. This joint came so fast. Shout out to Tan Boys merch. Shout out to Bodega Bands who, who's ever behind the merchandise and sending off these items because I ordered this. And it came the next day. And I know I'm not too far from the city, but the fact that a few moments after putting in my order and making it official with the payment and the transaction, I received the tracking and this hoodie was on its way. Now, this goes, and they always come packaged like this with a big old Ziploc bag. But this is dope. Has your little tag on it. Has a little personal tag. And not personal, but it's like a little regular tag. Got the invoice in it. Now this is dope. I like how they got this tied up though. Like, now comment down below if you think is this a dope pickup for the semi-frozen yellows because that's why I purchased this for those semi-frozen yellow joints. Comment down below if you think this is a dope pickup. On the front, you have your tan boys, and then on the back, you have the skeleton. 
with that tan flag. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this hoodie. Shout out to Tan Boys Merch. Shout out to my bro Show Gotti for introducing me to these per to this person and his merchandise. He got great music. He's from New York. I'm from New York, so you gotta support. I support those who even don't even support me, but I support those who are doing great things. And you know, it's always good to give love to those, even if they're not giving you no love back, because it reciprocates some way, somehow. I believe in the higher power, so it's all good. And you know, comment down below if you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys what you guys think of my pickups. And you will see, you will see me in my next video. Peace. They be chatting and whispering. Don't know what the fuck they be talking about. Pockets on small. Infant. Had to put that little baby on time. Mind. Can't answer your call. If it ain't about no business or money convo. I got it all with me. I'm a living, walking, talking, trapping. Old honey, spending old money. Boiling like I'm Jerry Stack.